Logan Stargazer here. Well, not here. <laughs> this is the SketchUp guy. A few times people have heard me say, build with the newest version of SketchUp that you get a hold of, which in this case is Make 2017, but do not export from that version. Export with the old version 7. Versions above, above version, uh, versions of SketchUp above 7 have a, a bug. It's a straight out bug. And I'll show you what that bug is and I'll show you why you need both SketchUps. First, let's get rid of the guy and build something. This will just be a cube. I will pretend this is a nice, fancy, beautiful building that took me hours and hours to make. Okay, I'm going to texture it. Just today, somebody told me that texturing in SketchUp is a big pain in the butt. I, I don't see how. This seems to be really simple to me. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe people don't know how to do it. Anyhow. Does this look complicated? I, well, I won't get into that. I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound critical. So here we go. A opt, an object with six different textures, six different they call mesh bases, whatever. Okay. We'll pretend this is a big fancy building with lots and lots of textures. I'm going to export this with 2017 to start with to show you what the higher versions do. File, export, 3D model, put it on my RAM drive. We'll call it 2017. Done. Okay, there it is. Here's the textures. Here's the object. Okay, we'll go in world. Build. Upload. Mesh model. Upload with textures. Land impact six 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 for a cube. Do you know why the land impact is six? Watch this. Unlink it because this stip the stupid thing is six pieces of mesh. You get a separate piece of mesh for every single texture in the build. So this this cube this cube has a land impact of six. That's unacceptable. That's stupid. And who wants a broken piece of mesh anyway? Well, I'll show you how to fix that. And it's so simple, you'll be shocked to death. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get rid of this. Not my cache, thank you. I keep my cache in RAM drive because it's way faster. Okay, after you're done building in SketchUp 2017, you save your build. We'll go to the RAM drive again. Uh, we'll call it. Uh, we'll call it seven. Okay, seven. Seven thing. It doesn't matter. But here's the trick. When you save it down here, save as type. You save it as SketchUp seven format. Build in 2017, 2016, whatever you like, but save as SketchUp seven format. Save it. Exit. Load it into SketchUp 7. You're not going to lose anything by saving in SketchUp 7 format anyway. 2017 can read it just fine. Okay, we're in 7 with the file. Now export it. Export a 3D model. Unfortunately, the only format SketchUp 7 knows about is Google Earth format, KMZ. But that's just fine. I'll show you why. That's just fine. A KMZ file is nothing more 
and a zip. Just rename the KMZ to zip. Extract it. And you end up with this thing which we don't need, this thing which we don't need, a folder full of textures, and a folder that contains this DAE file. Let's see what's different about this DAE file. Build, upload, mesh model. This DAE file, as we shall see, we shall see what we shall see. This DAE file has land impact of one. And, and uh, you cannot unlink it. It's one piece. This is a one piece mesh, which is what we want, right? A one piece mesh with a land impact of, of one, not a six piece mesh with a land impact of six. Nice, simple, straightforward. Build in 2017, save and sketch up seven format, load into seven, export it, rename, like that. Just follow the video. It's a couple extra steps in there, but they're not difficult. Thank you.